Okay, hello everybody. Today I want to teach you how to play uh, Chronos Thunder Weather by Sir Ray Vaughan. This is a complete free lesson of the whole song. And well, first of all, you need to have your guitar two and a half step down. Uh, because it's a Sir Ray Vaughan song, so we always play that tuning. Um, I am going to refer to the guitar as if it were on standard tuning. That way it's easier for all of us to learn the song. And I'm going to teach you today the easiest parts of the song. And on the next lesson, I'm going to tell you kind of the hardest parts of the song. And on the, the final lesson, that it's going to be the third part of the, these videos of the song. I am going to teach you the solo and kind of what things you can do to make your own solo. So, uh, that will be everything to say. Uh, let's go to start. I am going to start with the intro. The intro is divided in two parts. But the first part, I am going to teach, teach it on the next video because it's a little bit harder than the first, than the second part. So the second part of the intro is the part of I think you like you can recognize that part a lot. So the, you you're going to start on the A string. You're going to play five three five. And on the last five, you're going to kill the note with a staccato. Then you're going to play one to three on the uh, low E string. You're going to hold that three a little bit. Then you're going to play four, five, then three on the A string, and then five, three, five again. Yeah, so everything will be like Then you're going to play two, three, four, five. Then the same exact thing again. on the third time he do this you're going to play exactly the same but when you do you're going to wait a little bit more and then you're, you're going to do so everything would be like Now for ending the intro the last time you do, then you're going to play, uh, you're going to come all the way up here to the last fret of your guitar, to the 22 fret of your guitar on the G string and you're going to play that muting the rest of the strings. I do this by using my middle finger playing the G string on, on, on the fret and I, you, I just put the other fingers on the, on, on the other strings that way they won't sound and uh, the string I want it, it, the G string is the only string that is going to sound so it would be like so you're going to play the G string and you're going to slide it down And then you're going to play the fifth string on the A fret, on the A A string, and you're going to slide down also. So it would be like. Okay? So it everything will be like.
Now, next part of the song is, is, uh, should be the riff, you know, the main riff of But that I am going to teach her on the next lesson, don't worry, the next lesson is going to come very, very, very soon Today I want to teach you the easiest parts of the song So, uh, the next thing I want to teach you is kind of the other part of the best Aside from the, uh, sorry, uh, sorry for that, aside, uh, oh, aside from the riff He's uh, strumming yes, one single chord, only one chord with kind of funky rhythm, like. So, I want you to play uh, a normal uh, uh, D minor chord up here on the uh, fifth fret on the F string. That's the root. Keep this. Uh, I want you to keep this first finger on the A, A string on the fifth fret. I want you to put your middle finger on the third string on the fifth fret, then your ring finger on the first string of the fifth, fifth fret, and then your pinky on the uh, second string of the sixth fret. And you're going to mute the D string and also the low E so the chord would, would sound like this so now kind of the rhythm of the song it's like so you're going to play down up fast and then kill the sound with a staccato then you're going to do an up stroke with the mute with the uh, all with all the strings mute and then a, a, a down stroke again then you can play like uh, an upstroke again with this string shaking or a uh, muted. And the last part would be like so it's like down up mute down up mute uh, and it's kind of the same movement for the whole strumming and it it would sound like this So when you end, you're going to play the, all the strings muted two times, down and up. So uh, that's kind of the the whole uh, the whole thing with this chord. This kind of the second part of, of the verses. Now for the chorus. Charles, he's playing. Uh, uh, well, he's playing um, three chords. He's playing the B minor seven, and he's playing it like you're using your thumb for play the low E string on the seventh fret. You're going to use your ring finger to play the ninth fret on the A string, and you're going to bar the second, the third, and the fourth string on the seventh fret and you're going to mute the high E so now you have like a B minor 7 without but without the high E then you're going to move this shape two frets down and you're going to add your middle finger on the G string 6th fret then you're going to move this fret, uh, this shape two frets down two frets more down uh, and you're going to leave it like that and you have a G major 7 chord so you have uh, B minor 7 you have A major 7 and then you have G major 7 and then you're going to play yeah, you're, you're going to play that same uh, no, no, the next chord is going to be this 
kind of the hundred core, the, the shape of the hundred core, uh, a seven core. So you're going to put your middle finger on the ninth fret of the A string, your uh, first finger on the D string, uh, eight, uh, eighth fret, your ring finger on the ninth string G, uh, G string, and your pinky on the tenth fret B string. <laughs> And, and that's going to and that should be the whole chorus. Okay. 